Good morning to all of my YouTube and crypto community. Welcome to the channel. As a part of this brief update on the development of the Cardano ecosystem, we're going to be talking about a recent article that was just released confirming or at least giving us a better timeline as to when we can expect JET, which is an over collateralized stable coin coming to Cardano. We're also going to talk about the recent release of the audit completion for the liquid protocol, as well as their upcoming mainnet launch. Now, once we run through those two items, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about book.io who will be going multi-chain and having their first NFT mint on Ethereum. In closing, we're going to talk about Paribus. In my upcoming interview with Dennis, who is their CEO and their upcoming mainnet launch as well. And then we're going to wrap up today's video by talking about the Flint wallet and their adoption for a brand new type of token. Now, before we jump into today's update, if you guys appreciate these time, these kinds of videos, excuse me, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions for me, then make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for a way to support the channel as it continues to grow, then make sure to consider delegating with the DAP stake pool. Now that we have that out of the way, let's jump straight into our first update, which is an announcement that was just released by Cody about Jet coming to Cardano sometime early next week. So as you guys can see here, Jet has been getting a ton of coverage over the past two weeks, and we're actually going to take a look at the Cody token here once I'm done breaking down this short and sweet article. So bear with me here. Um, this should be pretty quick, but I do want to highlight the fact that um, there are going to be some additional features launching with the first iteration of Jet, again, released by the Cody team. So it states here, we are pleased to share another update about Jet's progress and to inform you that the launch is scheduled for next week. Now, this article was released on January 24th, so two days ago. And so, again, this should be launched on Cardano right as the actual month comes to a close. Bitru has announced that they will be listing Jet and Shen on their exchange platform. Now, I did also break down the article released by Bitru as a part of my last video. So if you guys want to find out more about that, then definitely make sure to check out my um, playlist for the Cardano Scoop series. On top of that, Jed's Dex partner, Wing Riders, has also hinted on Twitter that an announcement is coming soon. Now, when it comes to the actual development of Jed, this is where they stand. We started the chain index syncing process. This process may take 14 days. And as we started the sync process a week ago, we expect for it to complete next week and be ready for launch. As of right now, this is the only technical bottleneck holding up the launch. So they're not working or they're not being held back due to any actual issues. This is just a part of the process in which they've got to get their chain index syncing process finished. As a part of our effort to stake the ADA token or the ADA that is deposited into the Jet Smart contract and generate extra rewards for Shen holders, we are developing a snapshot mechanism and user interface that will be added to the official Jet website, which is jet.xyz, where Shen holders will be able to track their extra rewards. Now, this was mentioned as a part of their update, I believe, about one or two artic articles ago, again, by the official Cody platform in which they mentioned that they want to basically give the Shen holders more rewards. And the way that they're able to do that is by staking the ADA that's actually deposited into the smart contracts when people are minting the JED token. So this will be another way um, or another incentive to mint right the JED token and to hold the Shen token that you will also be receiving. Now, we've added the ability to cancel an order as well. Users will be able to click on the refund button and their transactions will be canceled as long as it has not been processed on the blockchain. So this is the first that we're seeing in the space, right? A refund option. And hopefully this is something that we start to get moving forward on a lot of these dApps as just a um, simple ease of life kind of feature. I definitely appreciate things like this. Again, it's not something that you plan on using all the time, but whenever you do need it, you are definitely thankful that it is there. So that's going to wrap it up there for the first article. As I mentioned, they have been getting a ton of um, coverage over the past few days or the past few weeks. And as we can see here, this was the article released by Bitru. We also have the announcement here that was released by the Wing Riders team and the latest decks on Cardano to also shout them out in preparation of their launch appears to be MinSwap. Now, if you guys don't know about MinSwap, they are the number one decks right now on Cardano in terms of liquidity with the most liquid or the most trading um, taking place on their decks. 
Now, as we can see here, the MinSwap team has officially posted that the ADA slash JED as well as the ADA slash Shen trading pairs will be made available next week. Again, there's a ton of hype about JED and I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. In closing here, as you guys know, this is not necessarily a TA channel, right? Um, but I do want to just quickly highlight the fact that the Cody token again has just been making a run over the course of the past two weeks now i do think that this is all directly correlated to jed and so as you guys can see the price has more than 2x since the actual beginning of this year again if you guys are interested in finding out more about jed cody then definitely make sure to use the official links that i will be leaving down in the description below the next topic I want to talk about is going to be Liquid Finance. And if you guys don't know about Liquid, they're going to be a lending and borrowing protocol building on Cardano. And they've actually been in the space building for over the last year and a half. So what we now have is their official audit, which has now been completed for their DAP. So as it states here, we can now see that the next stop for Liquid is going to be their V1 mainnet launch occurring next week with a few test nets right which we may see one or two occur in between now they are already live on the test net and so if you guys want to find out about how you guys can get access to it i will leave this link as well down in the description below but you can basically come here on the preview test net. you can connect your wallet and then you can supply a token you can also borrow tokens and then you can also view what the actual um, liquidity what's available on the platform is and then once you've done your supplying and borrowing you'll be presented with your net apy here hopefully it's positive right in which you'll actually be earning but if it's negative then you'll also actually be paying interest on whatever you're borrowing so pretty simple and straightforward test net again just wanted to give this team a shout out now they haven't actually released the um, findings of the actual audit itself i'm not sure if they plan on doing that but if they do i'll go ahead and highlight that there for you guys as well and keep in mind that this is a draft right of the actual audit report so once they get the finalized version we would assume that everything that's in there would have to be dealt with if there are any issues bugs or concerns that are gathered by the vacuum labs team which I believe is the people who are actually performing the actual audit for the Liquid Labs team. If you guys want to find out more about Liquid, you guys can head over to their official Twitter. Again, I'll leave that down in the description below, but it's at Liquid Finance and Liquid is spelled with a W. Moving right along, the next topic I want to talk about is going to be the fact that we now have a new player, Farm Cardano, going multi-chain. Now, over the course of the past week or two, we did we did get an announcement from Meld, who will also be doing a very similar thing. Meld will be branching out from Cardano over into the Avalanche and the Polygon or the Matic spaces, which are EVM compatible chains. Now we've got another suitor following in similar steps. So I do think that we will continue to see a lot of projects building out or building connections outside of Cardano. And again, I am not a Cardano Maxi. I definitely do cover a lot of Cardano content here on this channel, but I am happy to see that we are beginning to collaborate and integrate with other chains as well. So who is this partner that we're talking about? Well, it's none other than book.io. So it says here, a huge day of minting tomorrow, which is actually today, January 26th. And this is going to be our first multi-chain mint so shout out to the book.io team if you guys don't know what they do book.io is an nft marketplace for buying reading and selling ebooks as well as audiobooks now they've got a lot of revolutionary technology that they're building and they're putting to place again that we are going to see kind of start to branch out to other ecosystems now if you're wondering about the details of the cardano mint this will be taking place at 4 p.m utc with a mint limit of two nfts and they're actually going to be minting out I believe it's going to be the Alice in Wonderland book. Now, the cool thing about this is that, as you guys can see, here, we've got a ton of different covers here because they're able to do this on the blockchain. I think that they are using NFT technology to give people a personalized look and feel when it comes to the actual covers of the book. So really cool to see that there. Now, the mint limit will be removed after the first 30 minutes, and then the details and the rarity are also listed on their minting page. Having said that, the Ethereum Mint will be will be taking place a little bit later. Looks like about six hours later. Um, that's going to be at 10 p.m. UTC again with a mint limit of two books. And that mint limit will be removed after the first 30 minutes. 
interesting interesting covers here man this is just crazy for me to look at when i think of alice in wonderland i did not have any of these images in my mind that is something to see anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below are you guys going to be minting any of these books if so will you be doing so on cardano or will you be doing so on the ethereum network the next project i want to talk about is going to be paribus.io now, Paribus is a project that I cover here quite greatly on this channel, um, but they're going to be a lending and borrowing protocol focusing on synthetics and NFT. So let me pull this up. And there's just two points that I want to raise here about Paribus. First is that they will be going on the uh, Ethereum mainnet on January 31st. Now, they are also live right now on the testnet, which I actually have pulled up here in a separate tab. So if you guys want to play around on their testnet, which is on the girly Ethereum network, you can go ahead and do that. They've got a pretty simple and straightforward faucet that you guys can go ahead and sign up and get the test tokens for. Once you do that, you can head over to testnet.app.paribus.io. And then from here, you can play around with their dashboard. You can lend, borrow. You can also view the different markets or the different assets that are available for you to trade with. They've got a nice, simple um, liquidations page where you can either liquidate or view whether or not you are within the range of being liquidated and so forth. Now, jumping back over here, they will be focusing on lending and borrowing as well as staking of synthetic assets that we have listed up here. They will also be dealing with metaverse integration in which we'll hopefully be able to stake or at least put up our NFT lands or land plots um, up for collateral and be able to use them as loans. They're also going to have LP staking, PBX token profit sharing, LP or liquidity providing collateral based loans, and again, this is what I'm looking for too, NFT collateral based loans. Now, they are still working on their modules for this right here, but I have had the pleasure of speaking with Dennis and Simon at Rare Bloom that took place this last year in Colorado. Having said that, I will be interviewing Dennis again this coming Friday. So if you guys have any questions for Dennis that you guys want me to ask him as a part of this interview, then definitely make sure let me know down below. But I do also want to mention that the Paribus team has recently listed their token on Cardano as well. And so this was in collaboration with the Wing Riders Dex. And so not only can you purchase the PBX token right now on Ethereum, you can now actually pick it up as well on Cardano. Again, they've got a um, shallow liquidity pool for the time being. I do believe that, that they plan on adding more liquidity to that DEX. Um, but right now you can pick up the token and they don't actually have a bridge mechanism right now to take over your Ethereum tokens over into Cardano. But that's actually going to be one of the questions that I will be posing to Dennis is when can we actually expect a bridge between the two ecosystems? And so again, that just continues to be the narrative, right? We've got Book.io going, going multi-chain. We've got Melt also going multi-chain. And we've also got Paribus also doing the same, again, collaborating on Ethereum and also moving to Cardano as a Cardano native project. Now, the last thing I want to talk about for today's video is going to be a um, update that we've just seen coming to the Flint wallet. As you guys know, we've got a growing and growing list of wallets on Cardano. And one that we have seen a ton of updates from is the Flint wallet. Now, what it says here is that the Flint wallet has upgraded to Flint 2.0. Now, if you're wondering what has changed for them to update to a major version? Well, first, the goal of Flint is interoperability again, just really hitting on that narrative. So we are very excited to announce this big step. Milka Meta C1 token support is officially here. If you guys don't know what Milka Meta is, it's an EVM compatible sidechain connected to Cardano. And so on this sidechain, we've got a lot of different um, types of applications that are built using Solidity, which is the coding language used on Ethereum. Again, bridging the gap for users. Next up will be Milka Meta smart contracts and Pima Gaming. Now, I believe Pima Gaming is a studio built um, or at least run by Sebastian Guillemot here. And I did have the pleasure of viewing some of their um, games at CNFT Con, which took place in Vegas of last year. But in closing, I mean, I'm super excited to see this. We are starting to see some of these wallets now being able to support some of these different side chains connected to Cardano. And if you guys are not already aware, IOG will be also releasing a software development kit for building custom side chains. I have a full video covering all of that in depth and I'll go ahead and leave the link to that as well 
in the description below. That is going to do it for today's video. Again, I appreciate you guys joining me on this early morning or evening, depending on where you're watching from, in which we've talked about the release of Jet coming next week, Liquid Finance and their audit and mainnet launch, as well as Book.io going multi-chain, the update for Paribus and their mainnet launch coming at the end of this month. And then at the very end, just like we just talked about now, Flint Wallet supporting Milka Meta C1 smart contracts on their wallet. If you guys appreciate this video, again, my goal here is to provide you guys with the latest and greatest news within the Cardano ecosystem, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. If you have any questions about any of the topics that we discussed today, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are looking to support this channel, then consider staking with the DAP stake pool. I appreciate you guys joining me here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next video.